Hey guys, it's Mike here for a new tutorial. So today I will show you how to do this very cool parallax mouse effect. I have several examples here in my design set. They will be available very soon, coming soon, actually just after this tutorial. So I have already prepared my images. I use that one and I remove the background with this website. It's totally free and works actually pretty well. Then I have created two images, so we can make a pretty cool effect. And for that, we are going to use the Parallax GS library. So first things we have to do is to load their library, of course, from the CDN or locally. I have already loaded it here with advanced script. It's right there. So now we can create our first scene. Let's check all the information here. What we have to do is create a scene and some layer. The structure is pretty simple. Uh, let's go here. Okay. So just one, we add one section and then we add one div. Let's add the class scene to the div. And Make it 500 pixels. Okay, change the background to make it a bit more obvious. Okay, for the scene, let's even one emit scene. Now, what we have to do is to add some other div, and it will be our layers. So let's add our first div the class layer right let's change winem layer okay and set it to 100 percent 100 i think i forgot for the scene to change the position to relative and the layer position Absolute. All right, now we can add our image. First one, the left one here is a bit too big, so let's resize it. Okay, let's duplicate and change the image. It should be pretty fast like this. Okay. Here it is. To make it a bit more convenient, we are going to center everything. Okay, so as you know, we can center with the flex box very easily. Okay, let's save that. We can check. We are not using the library yet, but it's here. Okay. So for the code, we have all the information here, but I have already prepared in advance. So I have, just have to copy. Let's add a flat block, JavaScript. And here it is for my code. So let's try that. As you can see, it changed the position. It's not very obvious. I don't know if you can see it again. Yes, actually it's because the library will change the display, let's check here for the layer. It will add a display block. So our flex won't work. So we can't really center vertically. Actually we can. So what I'm going to do is to force it here. It's not always weight, but it's a library. We can't, uh, we can't avoid it. Oh, sorry, I need to add important here. And if I save, I check again, and OK, it's fine now. OK, so now what we have to do is to add some attribute here, data depth. Let's go back here. We select our layer. We just have to select the layer. We don't add anything here. 
for the image we select we add an attribute here so point four for example and the same for that layer attribute zero point four okay let's check that and it's moving there is a little line i think it's because we who size the images so it's not too hard to fix that we can uh, So minus one we should not see the line between okay so as you can see it's already finished not totally finished but uh, the parallax works now to have a little fun we can add hitting here cool stuff change in white okay I don't know why I put it here. First, we have to add a layer. What we have to do is to always add a layer and the content inside that layer. Okay. And we will move it between both. So the effect will look like this. Except that I need to change the attribute to make it uh, maybe invert the movement make it a bit uh, slowly okay so by default it will only work in the scene it means if i move the mouse outside the scene nothing will happen we can change that we have different options if there's a lot of options so i won't show all the options but uh, over only if i set it to false go back here now it will move from everywhere let's put it back to true i can even change the size here of the scene to make for example 300 and it gives a pretty cool effect too we only change here but not outside and i can remove the little one okay to add the background for example we show you how to add a background let's add another layer here we will move and we add another div and that div will be the background so we choose our image here so to make the background move we need to make it a bit bigger i will just show how to do first like this to explain the problem so for the scene we will make it with an overflow of hidden let's save that okay Okay, so the background is moving, but as you can see, it's pretty weird. So we have to make it a bit bigger to have a better effect. Let's change that to here. Let's put one. And to make it a bit bigger, let's put 110 here. 110. And change the layout here. Minus five percent and minus five. Let's try again. Okay. So now we have a pretty cool effect. So how it looks like in mobile. So here it should be fine. Except for the text, we probably have to change the size. But if you add some elements in other position, let's add something here. I always duplicate my layer, change the image here, and let's add another image here. 
Okay. For that one, uh, minus maybe 200. Okay. Okay, and uh, change here the attribute, maybe the other one, three. Just click to test. Okay, everything is working. Now, if we check on mobile, yes, we can't see it anymore. So we have to change it, maybe from uh, here. We can change the position again. Oh, the layout. I must forget absolute uh, it's zero. No, oh, of course I made a mistake. It's not the layer. I have to change it. The image absolute, and I put back zero here. Okay, so now. Let's save it. Save. Let's check if everything is fine. It looks not too bad. Of course, we have to probably change the size on the, and everything. You will see in my example here how it works in mobile. I'm not very sure if it works well with Safari. Apparently, it doesn't work well with Safari, but it needs to be tested. So, for this effect, I just change the size of the. It's not the best way, but at least it works. For that one, because images will be too wide, so I just change the position. And for that one, I think I did nothing because it still looks fine, even when it's smaller. Anyway, you can try and play with it. Everything is here. And it should not be too hard. So that's it for today. See you in another tutorial.